Welcome, everybody. Um, it's uh, time to get started for this sixth Data Science Day. Um, we have a lot of interesting speakers this morning, so uh, let's try to uh, get started as soon as possible. So this is the first six Data Science Day. This is a direct follow-up of the six cloud and big data days, but we actually switched name this year to to data science, to cover more of a broader spectrum of what we're actually doing right now and what the focus is in general. And although I'm, if someone would ask me what I do, I would say I'm a computer scientist. But more and more, whatever we do, whatever research we do, when we talk to companies, when we talk to people, uh, what we're talking about is actually not computer science, it's data science. There is a general shift towards focusing more and more on data and what to do with it, how to build applications from it, how to analyze it, how to create value from it, compared to just the computing machinery. And of course, the computing machinery is just as important, but we start with the data. And in that, we're working on larger and larger scale, bigger and bigger data sets, bigger and bigger representations. And today, we're going to look at a few things from, let's say, three different perspectives. First of all, Advanced analytics, which is basically the essence of a lot of data science work, is moving towards large-scale machine learning. So we're going to talk about that in a few presentations. To support this, computation and storage platforms, they need to adapt, basically, to support these things. Machine learning is not easy. It's not an easy task. It's not easy to implement. And uh, finally, I'm here it says the tools are becoming more accessible, at least they have to become more accessible, because we need a lot of data scientists, and they need to be able to work at scale with relative ease, basically. And uh, we're going to have a few talks today that show that this is actually the direction things are going in. Right, so a little bit about the presentations today. So we're going to look at a few different questions. So uh, first of all, so machine learning for data science, what does it mean? So, Anders Holst will talk, who has at least 20 years experience in practical machine learning and applying it on different data sets, will talk a little bit about what is machine learning and what are some of the common pitfalls and things like that that you might end up with when you're actually doing machine learning on practical data sets. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how to make these advanced techniques accessible. And most of the focus here today is uh, on one way, basically creating really good standard libraries that people can use and reuse uh, relatively easily. And we're going to look mostly at the Flink platform for big data processing, and we're going to have a talk by Theo about large-scale machine learning with Flink, and some lessons about uh, implementing large-scale machine learning in this type of library. We're going to look at graph processing, because a lot of analytics problems can actually be posed as graph problems, uh, also in, in Flink. Then we're also going to talk a little bit about platforms and infrastructure. Me, as a data scientist, I don't really want to worry too much about deploying uh, my calculations and how I run them in data centers and things like that. I would basically just like to know that there's computational power somewhere and not worry too much about it. So, in that area, Jim Dowling will talk about HOPS, uh, an open and very easy to use, very easy to deploy Hadoop distribution that uh, uh, is developed at KTH and SIX here. And finally, uh, Torbjörn Minde will talk a little bit about actual hardware, the stuff that people like me never actually see, but actually runs somewhere about a data, science, data center that we're building in the north of Sweden. But, most importantly, we're also moving to really, really large-scale representations. We're not only working on big data anymore. And our keynote speaker, Danny Bixen from Data, is going to talk a little bit about their approach to one of the most dominant techniques in that area, called deep learning, and show some demos and things like that. I would also like to mention that there is a special afternoon session with Dato uh, on GraphLab Create, their tool for, uh, for advanced machine learning. 
Uh, this is unfortunately fully booked, but and there is a waiting list. So, if you're on the waiting list, please wait outside the room. It's not in this room, it's in a conference room, well, in that direction, I think, yeah. Uh, so, wait outside and see how much space we actually have, uh, and then uh, we, we can see how many we can fit, basically. Then, I've been asked to uh, inform you about a few things. First of all, uh, I've been asked to say, please tweet. Uh, <laughs> There is a hashtag, <laughs> hashtag 6 underscore SSW. So if you have any comments or notes or anything, uh, just tweet away. There is a Wi-Fi login on the program. Uh, now, the password there is, uh, interestingly enough, in all caps. That's not true. Only the first letter is supposed to be in all caps. The rest of them are supposed to be in small caps. So. Uh, when you get frustrated about Wi-Fi not working, that's the reason. Uh, in the coffee break, and perhaps also perhaps some, uh, sometime during the lunch break, there will be tables outside uh, with each speaker, so you can go up to them and talk to them and so on, and have some discussions. Uh, when we end our morning session at about 12.30, there's also lunch, and this is for actually for everyone here. Uh, regardless of whether you're going to the tutorial or not. So, uh, please feel free to join in for lunch. And also, there is supposedly a questionnaire somewhere that uh, um, we would like you to fill in if you have the time. Right, but let's get on with the real program.